Well, welcome to the third episode of Joel's Jam. Intros are good. A, we, yeah. we want to stand by our intro. I'm going to introduce Rock and Roll Susie. Well, welcome to the third episode of Joel's Jam. Yeah, him. This is Vuma. I'm Stouffer. Vuma was called Vuma the Boy Wonder by a bass player named Pinhead Euphrates back in the 80s. Is the show started? I'm back in the trailer. Oh, it's horrendous. It does suck. So it's Vuma. Um, this one's Rock and Roll Susie. That's a person, yeah. She's a girl who goes home with a guitar player. In theory. In, in theory. Ah! Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but she, in this song, is also Chicago herself. And I might mythologize it a bit, but Chicago is a contact sport. Ah! Oh shit, now I gotta play. Everybody get the gun, so we kill the battle. About names and places. We're just joking, folks. Look, man, every other scene has been so groovy, Dave. And if that cat there doesn't stop it, man, I'm, I'm still for St. Rodney. Is this how you treat your royal guests, Fuma? So, from the second chorus? Second chorus. Here we go. Hostile. So, I said to Elton, babe, I'm not gay, but it's your party. I run four miles every day, and today it was going to rain this afternoon, I thought, get out early and beat the rain. Chris, ask me if I beat the rain. Boom. No, sir! I did not! Hostile. But thanks for asking. We were in a band called Ragged Berlin's Tribute to R and R Cross. I was going to say Bur Barry Manilow. <laughs> Ever hear him on acid? Forget about it. Barry, deceptively ragged. Right? 
concerned about the little fellow there taking it all down. Fucking cameras, man! Thank you, sir! This song was inspired by a place. When Dave and I got back from failing at Nashville for five years. Oh, my stars. We actually had a song on hold with Tammy Why Not, and this is when she was alive. We're pretty sure it killed her. We yeah, haven't she... seen the autopsy re report, but we're pretty sure it killed her. We are cursed, so we cursed her. Anyway, God bless Tammy Why Not. Um, so <coughs> we come back to Chicago, and we get wrecked. Dave gets a job so we can go out west eventually. We do a lot of drugs. I'm at the North Shore meeting my guy. He's the mushroom guy. And he's at home, so I walk to the end of this North Shore block where the lake is. And you look down at the end of the street, and there's rocks, and uh, Lake Michigan is rolling in. On this day, it was rolling in like an ocean. And it was so powerful to me. And I thought, I got to write something. This is so powerful. Well, they all ended up sounding like Gordon Light. And I love Gordon Light, but I didn't want to write the record that ended with Fitzgerald, you know. Because it had been done. Because <laughs> it had been done. Um, so I used the water and everything as a metaphor for trying to get to know someone you already are in love with. And uh, I think the music, though, Dave? Chris? Captures Lake Michigan when she's angry. But it starts like this. Anyway, God bless Tammy Wynette. <laughs>
Say those sort of things. They did. Qua. Qua. Marijuana. Now, what did I say? I think I'm done. <laughs> The surprise song. Yeah, the su uh, Chris Christopher is one of my favorites. And uh -oh. I'm doing this Willie Nelson style, so enjoy. Help me make it through that song. <laughs> I got two words for you. David Lindley. Robert the Vol! I got two words for you. David Lindley. What's up, sir? You gotta commit. Sure. Pause where there was no pause. Tender, tender, tender. I'll yes. be with you. That helps me find the David Lindley in me. Tender, tender, tender. I'll yes. be with you. Are you ready?
is your time. Show's over, folks. Yeah. The Christmas songs are starting. Yeah, now. you can go now. And I got to write the music to his lyrics. Cold stars on Well, the government did 
before us? Have you ever seen it so cool? You know, I've met a lot of cool cameras, but this one. Why? Is there a point you're trying to make? Why? Why? That's why. Why? Why? That's why. Why? Why you think about that next time we get together, maybe you'll have an answer. You know, it starts out a friendly little podcast until someone loses an eye. Every other scene has been so cool. Camera. Attention grabbing. Why don't you make your own show, Mr. Camera? You're so smart. You're so pretty. You got know. that little bright light in the middle of you. What does that start to do? It's not the righteous so much as the smugness. That is the difference. I don't mind so much. Yeah, I don't mind, you know, a little, you know, arrogant piece of shit. That's the show. Love me? <laughs> no one ever thought of that before. Love me.